Hi there, welcome to this Analyzit YouTube tutorial. Today, I will walk you through the process of adding locations and information to a map, step by step. Together, we will craft a user-friendly map and even generate a shareable web link for easy viewing. Our focus will be on creating a customized map highlighting various villages from a project and showing the beneficiary data. The real magic happens when we will color code each village based on beneficiary ranges, adding an extra layer of visual insight. And here is the best part. We will achieve all of this effortlessly using the power of Google My Map. So that means we will not use a special software for mapping, but just Google Map. So, if you are ready to bring your map visualization game to a whole new level, let's dive right in. To create um, a detailed map like that, you basically need two essential pieces of information. The GPS coordinates, both longitude and latitude for each location, and the specific data that you wish to visualize for those locations. For this custom map demonstration, you can see on my screen that I, I will be working with a CSV table composed of four distinct columns. The first column is the village column, which is a column that lists the names or unique identifier for the voice village that I want to plot in my map. The second column is the longitude, here you will find the longitudinal coordinates for each village. And the third column is the latitude. And this column indicates the latitudinal coordinate for each of the villages. It is important to note that both the longitude and the latitude are provided in a decimal format. Okay, so and the fourth column is the number of people. This column shows the population count for each village. So once you have got your table ready, the process is so simple. Head over to your Google Drive, navigate to the map application, and then import your CSV file or CSV table. You can easily utilize the free version of Google Drive map application for this. Just ensure that you have a Google account to, ac to access this feature. And that's it. You're on your way to creating a customized map. So let's go to the Google My Google account uh, and we will import this table and plot the villages and the number of people. Okay, now I am in my Google Drive account. So I will open the Google Map, my Google Map app application. So to do that, I will go to new. Once I am on, I'm clicking on the new, I will look for more and I will go to Google My Map to open the application. And once the application is open, you will see a world map. Um, and each data set that you import in your Google Map will be acting as a layer. So because I have one data set, I will import one the, the, that, that data set as a layer. So to import it, I will click import. And I will be looking for my data set, so I will be browsing in my computer. And I will look in, I think it's located in my desktop. And I will look for it. Uh -huh. and, uh, and this is the um, data set that I want to import. So I will basically click on it and say open. And it will open it in, voila. All right, so it says to me first, Choose the column to position your place uh, marks. So remember, we talked about the longitude and the latitude. So um, you have to click uh, the column in your data set that is the longitude and the column that is marked as a latitude. So uh, in my data set, um, the column longitude and I have the column latitude. So I will basically say continue. And I will choose um, which information that I want to have in each uh, marker. So I want to have the name of the village. Once I 
point in a village on my map, I want the name of that village to appear. So I will click village and finish. And it will load my map. Here it goes. So simple like that. So I can zoom in and zoom out. Zoom out. All right. Or I can just use my mouse and, and zoom in and zoom out. So you can see that I have each uh, marker here represent a village from my data set. So, and if I click on, on a marker, it will give me the name of the village. For example, this is village um, four. I have the longitude, I have the latitude on the, and the number of people. Okay, so now um, I don't want to see the longitude and the latitude um, popping up in, in when I'm, I'm selecting the village. So I will basically remove the longitude and latitude, but I will leave the number of people and the title of this village. And it will apply to all the village in my map. So I will go to edit and I will uncheck latitude and longitude and click save. All right. So now you can see, for example, if I go in another column here, in another, so another village here, let's say this village, it's village five, and I have only the number of people and the name of the village. So let me zoom in more, and you can see what happened for the other village. Let's say this village here. You can see it's village two and 58, and let's see about this village. Village seven, and the number of people is seven on 7,894. All right. So now the thing also is that um, I want to break down um, the, the village by the number of um, people, I can. I want to do two groups of, 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 of village. But before that, let's let us change um, the the, um, the style of the of the marker. So I can just go here, and I click style, and I will choose any marker here. So there is a popular one, and I will choose that one, um, and which is another marker, and it will change the mark the style of my marker. So I can also. I want to my market to be as red and I will choose red and it will show up as red. Now um, let's go and change um, and, and change the color of my marker based on two group um, and we'll use the number of people. So I will go on the uniform style and I will change the group place by and I will basically change style by data col column. And the, the column that I want to break down um, is the number of people, right? Um, and I will then choose the number of, of range. So in my case, I will click range and I want to do two ranges. So I will do two ranges and you can see that I have two colors, right? So you can see, for example, it, had, it has break down my, the, my village by the number of people in each village. And the first one, the lighter one is um, village between 55 and 700 and the second one is the darker blue um, 700 and 7000 so you can see for example um, this village is darker and you can see when I pop up is um, between it's between 700 and 7000 um, so this is how you can break down and your your marker based on other value in your data set so you can zoom in and zoom out Right. And one thing also that, for example, if I want to bring some additional information, let's say, for example, I want to add a picture to that village, I will just click on it and I click um, add an image and I will look for an image. Um, the image right now is uh, located in my um, desktop, so I will upload uh, an, ima an image and I will look for an image. And basically, this is the image that I want to bring and I will click and open. Right, and it will upload the image. And whenever I'm um, clicking on that village, I will see um, the, that village, uh, the, this picture appearing in my um, village. All right, so for example, you see here, all right, okay, and I said save. All right, so let's do it. If I click on that village, which is, I think it's non village number four, you can see I have a picture. So I, and I can add as long as many um, pictures that I want. All right, so now that you're done with your, uh, your, your map, um, you can also preview your map. Um, remember the way that you leave it, it's the way that uh, other people will see it. 
So let's do a preview um, on my map. And if I'm satisfied um, on how people will see it, uh, I can leave it. So, but or I can edit as well. Okay, I do edit, and I will let me let me increase the uh, the zooming. I will zoom in it more. Okay, All right. And when I'm I'm done with the zooming, I will basically create a, a, a URL code so I can that I can share with people so they can have access to my um, map. So I will click share and I will give me give a title to my map. Let's say I said example. All right, and I said okay. And I have to allow uh, anyone with this link to view my map. So I will check it and I will, this is basically the URL that if I share with people, they will uh, have access to my map. So I will click here and I copy the link and I close. And anytime that I'm sharing that link or I can embed that link into a, you know, a word or any document, whenever people are clicking on that link, they will have access to your map. All right, that's it for this video. Um, this is how you can build a very uh, interactive map. I hope that you have enjoyed that video. If you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you have comment, and um, don't forget to um, add some comment in the comment um, section. And also, don't forget to subscribe in, uh, to my YouTube channel um, so you can be informed when I'm releasing a new video. Um, just click on the subscribe button so you can have you, uh, and you can be informed when um, I'm releasing a new video. Take care and stay tuned.